First of all, let me paint you a picture of what an American diet is like. American diet is about 25 to 40 percent animal protein, meat, eggs, cheese, milk. And it's about 40 to 50 percent processed foods. What's left is anywhere from 10 to 30 percent at most of the fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, whole grains that have all the antioxidants and are what we really should be eating. So what I tell people is that the best diet, the one that's easiest to follow and is still fairly healthy, is a Mediterranean diet. Instead of 25 to 40 percent animal protein, they cut it down to 15 or 20 percent animal protein. And instead of 40, 50 percent processed foods, it's 5 or 10 percent. But the problem is that people, they don't follow diets very well, and they have keep having recurrent issues with heart disease. And before we had statin drugs, I mean, a person would have a heart attack, he'd keep smoking or eating bad food, and three years later, he'd have another heart attack, and then he'd have a bypass surgery, and then three years later, he'd have another heart attack. And this is something that we really don't have to do. We can really improve our health by working on our lifestyle. The best foods are fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, whole grains. The first thing we're trying to do is we're trying to get everybody involved. So we try to get people to come up with recipes that they think are heart healthy. Now there's a lot of different things out there that are considered heart healthy that might not be. So I don't know if our first cookbook is going to be perfect, but it's an attempt to look at you know, what we can do to maximize the good things we eat and minimize the bad things we eat. If we could find a diet that we liked that was healthy for us, why wouldn't we eat it?